If you play the cajon and also enjoy to see how it's made, you're gonna love to watch this entire video. I recently visited the Schlagwerk factory in Stuttgart, Germany, where they are making great cajons for more than 30 years. Hey, hey Fred. How are you oh, doing? Good, very yes. good, thank you. Welcome to Schlagwerk. Come in. Thank you. You are about to see a cajon making process that uses a mixture of modern technology as well as traditional hand craftsmanship. After visiting other cajon factories, I was quite surprised to see how different the cajon making process can be. This is Winfred, the general manager for Schlagwerk, who is going to show us around. The process of making a Schlagwerk cajon begins with a selection of different types of wood storaged outside the workshop. Then the selected wood is cut in this machine that precisely cuts the shapes needed for the body of a cajon. Now Winfred explains some extra cares they need to have with the wood. We just have to always make sure that this is not exposed to direct sunlight because then it would darken, you know. That's why we always have it covered. The next step is the sanding process. After cutting, we have a first sanding process where we also uh, check what is inside, what is, what is outside. We look at the visuals of the wood and then decide, this is, is this inside or outside? And if it's outside, then we send. And here is Gerard Prio, the founder of Schlagwerk. He is the inventor of all cajon models of the brand. And now the corner joints. He explains how important is this process for the Schlagwerk cajons. That's uh, really important, how the body is bonding together. At this point of the process, they apply the brand in the sides of the body. For that, they use a branding iron machine. Now, Wifer is going to show the reinforcements they use for the cajon body. So this is actually reinforcement for the screws to have a lot of grip to hold the, the screw and the power of while playing. So this needs to be uh, reinforced. I have asked Winfred a common question many students ask. What is the maximum weight a cajon can handle? We tested it once uh, with a press, really heavy press. And at 300 kilogram, we just switched off because there was nothing happening. Yeah. I think it would collapse at like four or 500 kilos. Continue with the reinforcements. Now we first show me the back plate, the reinforcements of the back plate that has this triangle shape. First of all, this material is waste. So we reuse cuttings and not throwing it away. It makes the, the back wall stiffer and that gives a little bit more punch. And now we start seeing the process of assemble the body. But before that, they first pass the four parts of the cajon in this machine to make all the parts even. We just arrived right on time to see how the EVO cajons are assembled. You can notice that they are handmade of solid wood, all their solid wood to be precise. He uses only glue to put the parts together, the top, bottom and sides. Then he uses this pressing machine that he adjusts it to have perfect 90 degrees and then press it for some hours until it is dry and solid as one piece. Now that the body is assembled, it's time to talk about the string system Schlagwerk uses. There are four types of string system behind the top of the cajones. 
The first system is the most traditional one that uses guitar strings. The strings used by Schlagwerk are especially made for them by a third part manufacturer. Here we can see how the strings are placed in the model La Peru. But here is the limit. It can't move. You can't release it more than that. Yeah. yeah. This is the security. But that is the security, and that is also enough because otherwise it would be too sloppy. How many cajons you already produced here? This way? Too much to count. That's 17 years. More than 10,000 cajons for sure. A little, a little bit more. The second system is the snare system that is basically a snare wire cut in two parts and placed in contact with the top. This is the system used in the well-known two-in-one model. The third system uses also snare wires, but assembled as guitar strings. This is another invention made for one of the top Schlagwerk cajons, the fine line model. And the last and fourth system is the one seen in the model Agile, that uses snare wires combined with strings, both assembled horizontally. Just a little break to say that if you want to know more about each Schlagwerk Cajon model in detail, I have included a link with all the models below in the description. Now back to the process. Now it's time to see the front plate or tapas of Schlagwerk Cajons. They use as the base for the tapa a Baltic birch 3mm stick. So this is the basic front plate. Yeah? And then we have layers of veneer and then press it in a, in a veneer press that is then laminated to the front. And there, of course, we do have many different veneers. So once this is done... We have a finished top. So you have the, the thin layer in birch and then the veneer on top of it. Next step is to install the back plate and the tapa, gluing it to the body. Then they put the cajon in this press machine for some hours to make it solid and sturdy. So it looks like this, yeah? So you have already very strong stability, but now the front plate needs to be and screw. Now we are ready to go to the process that cuts and trims the corners and edges of the cajons. Now that the cajon is assembled, it's time for the last sanding process. Now the cajon goes to the final inspection. The surface needs to be absolutely flawless. Yeah. So he's checking for every bit and piece that might have a little flaw, then he can still sand and then it goes to spray.
After the inspection, the last part of the cajon making process is the lacquering that happens here. In this image you can see a different type of cajon that is called cajonito. The process is the same for all cajons of the brand. And now, acoustic testing. This is the final part, to really check if the cajon is ready to go to the shops and customers. This is Max. He's one of the guys who does the sound test of the cajons. Every cajon is sound tested before shipping. And now he's going to show us some of the steps. The first thing we have to do um, get out the tension of the, uh, from the heating surface. So what we do is like a heart massage, like this. This is very important so to, to, um, that you get the tension out of it. Then he checks the tension of the screws in the front plate. And now the final test, when he plays the cajon. Schlagwerk has this system, green color for the ones that will be shipped and red color for the ones that are not approved. Green ones will be packed, ready to go, and these need rework internally. So we have to fix some, some things that are not, not right. Only when they have a green light, they are shipped. You might be asking yourself, after all this process, we're not gonna hear some of the cajons? Of course. After meeting Max, I had to invite him to jump a little bit with me. Schlagwerk is an established company that has been making great instruments for more than 30 years. And I'm very grateful to have had this opportunity to visit them and make this video for you. Thanks Winfred and all the team for the reception and to show me everything that goes into making a Schlagwerk Cajon. I hope what I have shown here today helps Cajon enthusiasts understand what actually goes into making a Schlagwerk Cajon. I've learned a lot making this video and I hope you did too, watching it. If you like this video and want more content like that here on the channel, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you didn't already. Thanks again for watching, I will see you soon in the next video. <laughs>